Hello everybody, it's teacher Amy and I am in my brand new digital classroom that I created using CamDwist. I am very excited because I just figured this out last night and I really wanted to share it with you, but I do apologize because I'm getting over the flu and my voice sounds a little terrible, um, but I really wanted to get this tutorial out so that I can show all of you how to do it. Now there are a couple of parts to this little series that I'm doing here because I'm not just using a chroma key background um, to use an image uh, in my background so that I can have whatever I want back there, but I also figured out how to use Google Slides so that I can, at the touch of a button, have a Google Slide behind me and then I'm in this little pip in the corner here and I'm not blocking any of the slide and if I am, I just kind of move out of the way, um, which I really love and I'm super excited about. So. I'm going to show everyone how to do this, um, but it is a multi-step process. So for this video, we're gonna start off with just how to do the chroma key background. So I do have to give credit to Terry Bales. She did a tutorial on chroma key in CamTwist, and that's exactly what I followed to be able to do this. Now, it's a lot simpler than I expected it to be, but it is not an exact science by any means. This is something that you are going to have to play around with. You might have to change your lighting. Um, you're definitely gonna have to adjust your colors and so forth. Um, so uh, I, with that warning, let's go ahead and give this a try. So right now I'm just gonna clear out all of these effects and I'm just going to start my webcam so that you can see uh, that I am not actually in a classroom. I am sitting in front of a wall that is covered with green fabric. Now, this is nothing special. It's just fabric that I bought on Amazon and there's my old uh, teaching background underneath there. I just bought this on Amazon. It was like $10. Um, it's nothing fancy. The only thing that you need to have behind you is the color green and it just needs to be flat. Now, lighting is very important when you're doing chroma key because shadows will change the color of your background and that kind of messes with your chroma key. The other thing is, I need to make sure that I attach this to the wall at the bottom. I have a space heater underneath my desk and when it turned on this morning and it started to blow, I got kind of like a billowing effect here and it was like messing up with my picture just a little bit. So uh, be aware of those kinds of things too. So your background does have to do this. So first of all, I'm gonna turn this off. Now you're going to highlight webcam in step one and then you are going to click on the picture in picture pip button down here. Choose your webcam from your webcam settings. I don't want to use Minicam, I want to use my FaceTime camera. And now you can see the black area that's behind me right now is where your background is going to go, my, my image overlay, my classroom, or whatever you want it to be. But for now, I need to make myself as big as I can go so that when that image is behind me, um, I'm not still in a tiny box. I want to be big so the children can see me. I renamed this pip me because it's me, it's me on the webcam. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm also gonna throw in some gamma adjust here just because I like gamma adjust to make myself look brighter. And I'll also throw in some sharpen. I'm sorry about my voice, I really sound terrible. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, now you are going to add your image behind you. So this can be absolutely any image that you want at all. Um, when I was messing around with it this morning, my kids say, mommy, be at a carnival. So I can be at a carnival. What you're gonna do is go up to step two, image overlay, wherever that's hiding, here it is. And then download whatever image you want from Google or wherever you wanna get your images from. And this is just my downloads folder here. So I just opened it up and I'm gonna click on the one I want and I'm going to drag it over to this box over here. Now it's in front of me but I need it to be there just so that I can size it correctly. So I want it to cover the whole screen. And once it's there, I'm gonna rename it background so that I know what it is. And I'm going to just pick it up and drag it so that it is at the top of the list. Okay, so now it's actually behind me, okay? Now, in order to make this green dissolve so that you can see what's behind me, I'm gonna click on the me, the webcam pip, and I'm gonna go click the chroma key checkbox. Now, as soon as you click it, you're going to notice some weird things happening on your screen. Now, this chroma key bar here, this is where kind of the magic happens. So you're going to click on that and you will get this color wheel that pops up. Now, if for some reason it pops up and it has these crayons or something weird up there, just go up to the top left and click on the color wheel. And you want to make sure that your chroma key bar is gray here because you can play around with this wheel, but if that bar isn't gray, it's not changing anything on your screen. So you've clicked on it. It's gray. 
So now I'm gonna take this little dropper at the very bottom of that box, there's a little eyedropper thing, and that's gonna bring up like a magnified circle. And you're gonna bring that up and just drop it over on top of your preview screen on a green spot. Okay, so that actually, it's not terrible. The first time that I tried this, it looked more like uh, that, and it kind of freaked me out a little bit, but don't freak out. Um, you're just going to drag this little thing over until you pretty much can see yourself and there's not like a whole lot of weirdness going on. Now, you can also move this around. That can help um, with some like little holes and things I see a little bit happening in my shirt. I don't usually wear plaid when I'm teaching. I usually teach in bright orange, um, so that's that's not an issue, but um, you can mess around with this and make it so that it looks good to you. So I think that this looks pretty good where it is right now. So now um, I've got my background, I've got my knee, I've got my lighting and so forth. So the only other thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna throw some text on the screen just because I like to have my teacher name on the screen when I am teaching. Now, you can type in the text box, but it will not show up on your screen. It won't change this hello world on your screen until you hit enter. So make sure you hit enter, and then you can play with this. You can change the font, you can change the size, you can change the color. I like it to be, that's too big. I like it to be over in this corner here because I like to put my Google Slides right here. Now see how I have a shadow and it changed the color behind me and now I have this green thing going on in the background. I need to fix that light. I don't like that light. Anyway, so I put my text over here and I like to put my Google slide reward in this corner here. So how do we do that? First of all, if you have not been a Google Slides Cam Twist user in the past, the first thing I need you to do is go watch my video on Google Slides Prep Time Saver for Cam Twist because you will need the, to reference that video. You will need to have that setup completed before you can go to this next step here. So I have, and I'm sure most of you are familiar with these blank slides that I have up here. So I have these, these blank slides up here and um, I have a set that I have already created called daily. And if you've watched that video, you probably have a daily set yourself. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take that daily set that I have in this saved setups box, and I'm going to merge it with this setup that I just created, okay? So I'm gonna take that daily set, I'm just gonna highlight it. Don't double click it because it will, it will mess up everything that you just did. Highlight it, and then down here, just hit the merge button. Okay, now it's gonna do some weird stuff because I have gamma adjust in that setup as well. So it's got double gamma adjust and it's too bright going on. So I'm gonna go in and take out those extra ones and they're marked daily so I know exactly which ones I need to get rid of. I don't need this extra webcam at the top. Really the only thing that I want showing here is the rewards. Okay, so now if I turn this on, rewards, ta-da, there it is. And I can change this out and I can make it my flower garden, okay? So this is essentially what you saw when the video started. This is what I like to call my normal setup because this is, it's not, I'm not showing a reward, I'm not showing a prop, it's just kind of like my regular teaching, okay? So um, you're gonna wanna save this setup right now. You can call it whatever you want. Go ahead and save the setup. Um, you want to uh, make it something that's memorable so that you know exactly, make it descriptive so that you know exactly what it is. So um, I don't call this daily. I actually call this, actually I have it as green screen reward pip, but uh, I, I think of it as my normal setup. Quick tip, I'm interrupting myself because I forgot to say this in the video that I recorded previously. This setup that you're saving right now, whatever image you have showing behind you right now is the image that will get saved with your setup. So each time you open this setup, you will get this image. That does not mean that you are stuck with it. You can change it at any time that you like. Just open your um, your normal setup, the one that has you know your, your teaching background and maybe your reward pip down here. Um, all you have to do is change the image in the box here. So we can do whatever, um, just click on the actual background. So yours might say image overlay if you didn't change it. I changed mine um, to say BKG for background. Um, once that is highlighted, you should see the image pop up over here and then you can just grab whatever else. We can put some clouds behind me. You can change this out if you're teaching about flying or birds or something you can teach in the clouds or you can change it to the jungle 
um, whatever you want to do. So um, once your setup is saved, um, you you can still change out the image. You just have to do it manually. So just be aware, whatever image is showing when you, the minute that you hit that save button is the one that's going to pop up for you every day. So once it is saved, you can move on to the next step if you want to go ahead and be able to do your um, Google Slides rewards like I have done here. So um, I hope that that at least helped you out with some chroma key for your background. Um, and you notice that the background changed. It's not carnival anymore. It's because I used some hotkeys that have a saved setup with the classroom background in it. So that's, uh, that's what, where that came from. We'll talk more about that in the next video. See you there. Okay, bonus tip. This is basically a tip for green screening in general, chroma key in general. It's not just about cam twist, but um, because the material that I have behind me is bright green, and now cam twist says, okay, anything that's bright green, I'm gonna turn into this picture that you told me to turn it into. I have a dinosaur that I like to use um, that opens and closes its mouth, it's on a stick, and I use it a lot, especially with like pre-VIP aged boys. Um, it's green. So when I bring it to show it to the camera, it looks all kinds of weird and funky, right? So I love this guy, but I'm probably going to have to get a red one or a yellow one or something because this is not going to work. So just be aware of anything that you have. If you have any props, any puppets or anything that have a green color on them that's even close to the color that's behind you, it's going to get washed out and look really weird on the camera. So just be aware of that. If you're going to green screen, you wanna get rid of any green props uh, or rewards that you, that you would use because it's just gonna mess things up. So. There's your bonus tip.